If you're a petite curvy woman, you know how tough it is to find good jeans. ladies welcome back today I have a fall slash winter haul video I wanted to show you everything that I have been adding to my wardrobe to update it I find that my wardrobe became so classic that it started to age me I wanted to incorporate more fun trendier more contemporary pieces in my wardrobe collection just to make it a little bit more fun a lot of the items that I will be showing you are very trendy shoes some clothing some jewelry as always Always, everything will be linked down in the description box so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started so we might as well start with what I'm wearing I'm wearing this sweater off the shoulder sweater from H&M this is one of my favorites it is very contemporary very on trend right now but has this huge sleeve I cannot wait to pair it with jeans trousers I wanted to also update my jewelry collection I usually like dentier pieces chunkier a little bit more statement jewelry is more in style so I went for this which is a little bit bigger than what I would normally wear I'm going to put it on top of a turtleneck so you can see what I mean I feel like if you're looking at it here it still looks dancy but when I put it on top of a turtleneck or anything where it pops it looks like it's a little bit chunkier than what I usually go for this necklace is from a brand called Made by Marie. They come in this cute box. How cute is this box? In here I had the necklace that I have on, which was in this bag. I have two cuffs. Cuffs are very, very trendy right now. Chunkier cuffs. So I decided to go for two cuffs. They may look exactly the same, but there's a, a different design on one of them. And then the other one is plain. I got this little ring, which is so cute. If you're looking at my nails, you're gonna see that I tried to match the shape of the ring to my nails. I will link everything below. The team at Made by Marie were kind enough to send these over to me. Thank you so much for sending these over I'm going to see if I have a discount code if I don't have one I'll probably email them to ask and I will have that in the description box for you I'll try to get a discount code for anything that I'm showing you guys and that's gifted I want you guys to benefit when I get something you guys get something check out the description box speaking of jewelry I got a new watch you know that I love my watch from Lola Rose but they came out with this brown watch it's giving cut but more affordable so I decided to go for this watch. I just love receiving a new box or package from Lola Rose. It's so luxurious. So we have this protective piece here. In here is our little watch box. It looks like storage for jewelry. In here is a card. I think it has a receipt plus carrying instructions on how to care for the watch. In here is the main event. And again, if I find a discount code, I will leave it in the description box. But the brown leather just screams winter, autumn to me. So I thought, hey, I could switch it around. Some days I'll do the gold, which is most days. And then some days if I'm doing warmer tones, browns, tans, creams, beiges, I could just go for the brown watch. I have been in the market for this color of blue jeans. It's been really, really tough to find one that suits my body because I am petite, I'm also curvy. If you're a petite, curvy woman, you know how tough it is to find good jeans. So then I remembered I used to love jeans from Urban Outfitters, specifically from the brand BDG. If you know, you know. They make great jeans for petite, curvy women. So I stopped by and I found this pair of cargo jeans. And this is so on trend, so contemporary. I decided to go for a bigger size. I got the size 29. I'm usually a 28, 27, but I decided to go for the 29 just so that I can have the oversized look, which is a lot more contemporary. Can you imagine this pair of jeans with this little sweater that I have on from H&M? That would be a look. The next piece of clothing that I have is a leather trench. I have been looking for the perfect, specific 
trench to add to my collection and this is it. I'm petite and I wanted a trench that is really really long almost to my ankle. I just feel like they are super badass when you walk and the wind blows them back. It's just so badass. And then when you add the leather, the black leather, it gives Matrix vibes. It gives New York badass babe vibes. I was so happy when I found this at Urban Outfitters and it was on sale. Run, do not walk to Urban Outfitters to find this trench because it is so good. I wore it yesterday. The men's were all over me. I wore it with the schoolgirl outfit, mini skirt, tights, shoes that I will be showing you later, socks on top of the tights in the men's they just wanted to eat me alive. And I was like, oh my God. I don't know if it was the outfit. I don't know if it was the day before my period because I think there's something about our cycle that we become more beautiful, more attractive. I don't know. Whatever it was, I think it may have to do with the Matrix coat. I'm obsessed with this coat. I can wear it with so many things. Mini dresses, trousers, denim, mini skirts. I picked up this cropped bomber style blazer from Zara. I thought it would be great with my new jeans that I got to balance out the proportions. Then the next clothing item I would be showing you is this Uniqlo t-shirt. Uniqlo makes the best t-shirts out there and they are super affordable. They run from $20 to $25 or $29. I have been loving this specific style. This is in the men's section. This is $20. I love this because the sleeve is a little bit wider than normal t-shirts. It just gives you that slouchy casual vibe that I absolutely love that is also very trendy right now. This comes in so many different different colors. Now, I do not recommend the white tea version of this because, well, I don't know, you, you might like it. I went to the store yesterday because I'm looking to buy me a white version. In this specific style, the white feels very, very harsh on the skin. There is another one that I found, again, in the men's section, which runs, I think that one is $25, but they didn't have my size, so I needed to go to another store to find it. I highly, highly, highly recommend this tea shirt. Now moving on to shoes. I wanted to add some trendy shoes to my collection. Our first pair of shoes. This is a pair of Mary Jane from Vaivaya. I have featured Vaivaya on my channel before. They make these eco-friendly shoes. They are a sustainable brand. This is actually fabric. They are super durable. I have a collection of Vaivaya shoes now. When I saw the trendy Mary Janes, I just had to have them. This pair is super comfortable. It it comes in a variety of different colors. It also comes in black if you are interested in black. But I wanted to add my favorite color, red, as a pop into some of my outfits and I just thought this was the perfect shoe to add to my collection. It is a square toe. I like that because it elongates my legs a little bit. I'm always looking for shoes that will elongate my legs. Next up is this pair. I'm going to add this in the category of trendy shoes that I would like to call grandma shoes. Grandma shoes are very trendy right now. In my mind, grandma shoes are Chanel slingbacks, which I used to own a pair. I bought a pair of Chanel slingbacks back in 2018, my first time in Paris. And I was like, oh, you know, my first time in Paris, I need to make a purchase at Chanel, something that I will hold for years and years and years to come. I ended up selling it because it hurt so much. Now, it's not really uncomfortable to walk in, but the way my foot is set up, when I put it on, it pushes my toes to the front, and that was painful after a while. So I decided to sell it. Someone else would use it better. So I feel like they remind me of these Chanel slingbacks. The toe, this is really giving Chanel. These shoes were gifted from Vivaya. I had a discount code with them. I'm not sure if it's still active. If it is, I will have it in the description box, and I'll also have it here. So this is not sponsored, but these are things that I was gifted and I am able to choose what I want I'm very picky. So anything that I show you guys is my taste is what I like and what I want Even though it is a gift if you're not an influencer You might not know this so they will send you a link where you can choose different items from a site when you are being gifted items sometimes if I don't like things that are on that link, but I go on the website of the brand and I see something else that I like, I will say, no, this is not my style. This one is more my style. I'm saying that to say, I only show you guys things that I like, things that I wear. 
Do you need me to sign? Thank you. The next item, this one was a, a purchase. I purchased this myself from the Kate Sample Sale. And I'm so excited. This also falls in the grandma shoe category. And it is this, oh wait, it's not in here. Is it in here? I wore it already, guys. These are my new babies. This is the Sydney pumps from Kate. I'm obsessed with them. Look at the heel. They are super comfortable. I wore them once and I walked for a while with them and I had no issues. I love that it has these crystals with the gold encasing for the crystals. This is just so cute. I love the pointed square-ish kind of toe in the front. If this doesn't scream grandma, I don't know what does. I picked up the Adidas Sambas a couple of months back. These shoes are so hard to find. They are very trendy. I also want to get it in the white color. I also want this red pair of gazelles. I will link all of these down below. Now to more cozy winter-ish kind of items. I have this pair of boots from Fit Flap. I love Fit Flap. They make really, really comfortable shoes. I started to wear their shoes in the summer and I just became obsessed. These are the boots. I know they look like Uggs, but I love them a lot more because you have this leather piece right here. If you have worn Uggs, you know that if it's raining or if it's snowing, if we have inches of snow on the ground, your toes will end up being wet. This leather piece right here is going to keep my toes from being being wet. I hate wet toes. I don't know anyone who love wet toes. Oh lord. That sounds like somebody's fetish. Oh. I don't like wet toes. I will link these down in the description box for you. They have this in different colors, in different height. And one thing that I love about this, it's kind of like you have two boots in one. What I mean by this is you can wear it like so. It just looks like a, a cozy boot. You can also flip this over and then it gives you a different look. See? So the next item I have is another pair of boots that is perfect for autumn and winter. They are from Vintage Havana. I'm so excited for these. I have been wanting a pair of boots like this for a couple of seasons, a couple of years now. And I finally have them. They look like combat boots, but more refined Chelsea boots, more contemporary, more updated. I am obsessed. I have a quick story to tell you about why I love these boots so much, okay? And how badass they make me feel. I went to school in Haiti, and in Haiti you have to wear uniforms, you know, be very preppy. My school had beef with this other school, and whenever we are leaving school, people from my school are going from this way, people from that other school are going from that way, so we always meet at the end of school. People from each schools will just attack or throw an insult at someone from the other school, and then we just start beef, whatever, we're gonna fight. So one girl wanted to fight myself and my sister because we're always together. But she's like, no, I'm not gonna fight you during our passage meeting that we do every day because you're always with other people. We can fight for you, I want to fight you one-on-one. -on -one. So we're like, all right, cool, let's go. I went home, I changed, and I wore very similar boots. I think I was watching some kind of Angelina Jolie movie or something like this. She wore all black and she wore boots very, very similar to this. So I was like, I'm gonna fight this girl, so I need this kind of outfit. I don't even know where I got the boots from, but I had the boots in my wardrobe in Haiti. And I wore those boots. I showed up to fight the girl. She never showed up. So boots like this, they instantly make me feel badass. Whenever I put them on, I just feel like, mm, I'm so badass, <laughs> like I can conquer the world, I can conquer anyone. I'm obsessed with these. I cannot wait to style them. I love styling them with mini skirts, shorts, trousers, mini dresses, with the leather trench. Oh my God, chef's kiss. So the last pair of shoes that I wanted to show you are these. These are like a Mary Jane slash loafer combination. I got these from TJ Maxx from the brand Jones New York and I think they were like $30. So I wanted to experiment with the uh, schoolgirl look. That's why I got these and I, I wore them yesterday with my trench coat, my mini skirt. 
I was just a complete school girl. I think I have a picture, I'll insert it here. Yeah, it's super comfortable. If I can find this online, I will link it below. Check your local TJ Maxx. They had many different styles of this kind of shoe. I feel like a Mary Jane meat loafer is a little bit more feminine for my taste because I don't like chunky loafers. I like the more classic loafers. I thought this was like a hybrid. A little bit feminine but also chunky at the same time this is everything that i picked up for my fall and winter wardrobe let me know if there's anything that you've been thinking about getting or if there's anything that you want to get from this haul thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one au revoir